This illustration deals with two to six service disconnects. In accordance with NEC 230.71, B as in boy, one through four. The purpose of change is to provide a new subsection uh, or uh, that we would use, or subdivision, excuse me. And a new subdivision has been added here to clarify the uh, challenges created with more than one service disconnecting means in the same panel board or enclosure. The proposed revision continues to retain the six disconnect rule for services. However, to address these challenges, the permission for up to six disconnects is modified to require installation in separate enclosures. And that's very important, separate enclosures. This revision provides the ability of an installer and maintainer to operate a single disconnect that de-energizes conductors and circuit parts in the same enclosure, except for the line side of the disconnecting means. This reduces the likelihood of an incident with energized conductors or circuit parts in the service equipment enhancing uh, safety. Now, uh, I would kind of like to review uh, these uh, uh, one through four in green. Now, notice the first number one in green shows this uh, main and the, uh, the uh, overcurrent protective device below it. Uh, over here now, Notice that this second panel here is a violation of uh, 230.71, and it has been deleted in 408.36. Now, uh, the two to service disconnect means that you see here above the auxiliary gutter are separate enclosures. So two to six disconnects in a uh, single or separate enclosures that comply with 230.71B as in boy one or grouping by 230.72A as an apple. So you see making the taps at this service and complying with 230.46 or 230.40 in some cases, then notice uh, we're tapping to each one of these switches here. And since they're individual switches, uh, such as uh, here, we have one main and we disconnect everything. Here, you disconnect everything with this switch downstream, just like vice versa for all of that. Now, as it shows uh, in the call out, uh, fuse disconnects two to six that comply with the regulations of 230.71B1 through B4, that's okay. And then down here, it says, hey, switch gear with six disconnects and metering in separate components, then you go to 230.70B4 for those, see, and then they can be there. And then over here would be your uh, six mains and a switch gear. Uh, and we know that complies with 230.71B as in boy, item number three. Uh, note, also review uh, the informationals one and two to 230.70B1 uh, through B4, and then you understand that this barrier here isolates this section from this section, and that's exactly uh, what this 230.70B4 uh, is talking about. So notice that we looked at the previous illustration and this illustration, and we tied together 230.71A uh, with 230.71B, and you get a good uh, feel for what's taking place there. Now, let's look at uh, number three in green. Barriers separate each individual section in accordance with uh, 230.70B3 and 230.62C. See those barriers? So I got a main here, everything below it. Main here, everything below it. Main here, everything below it. Now, Notice that uh, under barrier separation and switch gear, that's okay, but these panel boards up here kind of, you don't have a barrier there, so. And then if we look at uh, item number four in the green, then we just discussed it, so we will close with the note, this particular uh, new sub uh, divi uh, division.
Note, also review these fine print or, or informational notes, excuse me, you can say I come from the old days, to 230, 270B1 through B4. And we kind of called that out previously, but uh, this kind of gives you an overall picture of 23071A and B and how we have to watch this and make sure we comply with these new rules.